Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys what I refer to as how to get the cheapest and most efficient team, which also stands as a no money spend team. But, boys, didn't mention this in the beginning. As per usual, I forget. If you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. I'm aiming for 3,000 subs at the end of August. I think we could do it even sooner if we start getting the channel booming again, like we had the last year. Also, comment down below throughout the video if you guys agree with what I'm saying, if you guys think that there's something I missed, or if there's other solo players or free players you can get that I didn't give enough love to. Also, let's get the video to 50 likes. That is the goal. Every like we get on this channel just helps the channel get recommended and really helps our channel start going. So if you support the channel, you watch me, just drop a like. It takes no time out of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This works for me who is spending money. This works for anyone. This is pretty much me showing you how to maximize the talent on your team without spending more coins. So what I mean by that is there are many opportunities in this game to get a lot of free positions, certain, certain players in certain positions. But the thing is, if you're already... You, may, you might have issues if you pick players to certain positions and then get another player there. So you want to really know what you're going to be able to get, especially for those people who are out of access already or who don't get the game until the 30th or the 2nd. So this is good for you guys so you guys can have an idea of what every single free player you will be receiving through Madden solos and packs and stuff. So then you can work around that. So let's say you know you're going to get a quarterback, a wide receiver, a running back, and a lineman. So what you do is you make sure that you don't take any free players or you make sure you don't buy any players in those positions so you can, you can lock those positions up already and then worry about the other ones. Because I've had issues before where, let's say I get an option of a nap pack, right? Let's say you take uh, George Kittle, right, 82, but then you find out you get an 82 tight end free out of a, out of a pack from solos and you know you're going to get that. So now you have two of them and now you're upset because you're going to take it a cornerback or something. So I'm going to be going over all the free elites that you get in this game and all the potential choices you have so you guys can, you guys can have an idea of what you'll be rocking with day one and what you can potentially get. So this is like pretty much the best way I can go about doing this. And the theme builders, by the way, are a little iffy. I have to explain how this works. This isn't just like, you just do it. You get to know kind of a grind and you only get 10 choices, but they're very good if you can work your way up there. So to start off, first off, you guys got the pre-order packs, right? You get one, I believe it's like 82 elite from any team, one. So for you guys, I, I can't talk about that one because that one, obviously, really depends on what you pick there's 30 there's 32 teams so can't talk about that one but i can't talk about the solos first off there's the ultimate trainers right so the ultimate trainer solos kind of weird how they work but if you do them you can pick a master so there's marshall Lattimore, tyra Matthew, greg olson matt ryan juju smith schuster so for me personally i'll probably take the marshall Lattimore or tyra Matthew. But there's Greg Olson, Matt Ryan, Juju Smith, Juju. So starting there, those are five guys you can get. So start to start getting the gears, the gears turning right there. Start thinking. So once you guys get these done, the way you get these done is you just collect tokens. I haven't been able to do them yet because I'm on my trial, and obviously I'm saving all my trial time for the videos. So I can't, I can't even be playing the game right now. But just remember that you can get a cornerback, a free safety, a tight end, a quarterback, or a wide receiver. So that's the start. 85 overalls. Next to the EA Access solos. These solos, though, I believe only give you packs. There's no specific player from those, just remember. But, it's not going to show me here, really. There's a milestone page. I'm pretty sure it gives you all packs. I actually pulled DeAndre Hopkins out of these, uh, these packs because you get a you get golden app player packs. You know, that's the NFL Epics. You, you just get coins for your access. Never mind. The theme builders give you multiple 86s. So, if you go into them, they go by, so the way these work, let me just explain how they work first. So every five levels, you get a theme selector pack. You open the pack, get a coin. So you get every five levels. So obviously out of 50 levels, there's gonna be 10 opportunities to get a pack. So you get 10 of them. You can put every token and then you go into the team sets and you put the token in. So there's 30 teams in the NFL. So you out of 32 teams can pick 10 of them. Each team has their own 86 overall player. That's their theme player. So you're gonna wanna pick all the 10 best ones are the ones that fit you perfectly. So earn your theme king. And then once you do that, you unlock a series of solos. And in these solos, if you play the whole thing, you get players. So Lions is 86 overall Darius Slade, you can see on the screen, right above Friends Leaderboard. Then you go to the Patriots, which is Julian Edelman. Now, when I did the, and you also get, when you when you unlock the team, you get their playbooks, their unis, their stadium, their everything. So it's also, if you do your favorite team, you get a lot of stuff. So I did the Patriots because I wanted their playbook. Little did I know that would unlock this. So now I'm stuck. I don't want Julian Edelman, but he's really slow. He's like 79 speed. But the best ones, in my opinion, we're going over right now. My phone, I have a list. Okay, yeah, so we got Kawan Short, Adrian Amos Jr. By the way, these are no order. Darius Slay, CJ Mosley, Andrew Norwell, Kevin Zeitler, George Kittle, Alex Mack, Brandon Graham, Remy Tunzel, 
Larry Tunzel, Mr. Cooper, T.Y. Hilton, Chris Jones, Keenan Allen, Marcus Gilbert, Dama Kung Su, Miles Garrett, Kareem Jackson, Micah Hyde, Geno Atkins, and there's a next page, and now that is it actually. So those are all the theme builders. So obviously there's plenty of good names to know. I'm gonna go by order of importance. So I think that Darius Slay is definitely up there as one of the top choices. He is a fast lockdown cornerback, which can always be used because that is a um, depth obviously. A depth obviously is the most important because there's three cornerbacks. So even if you get like a Jalen, you get better cornerbacks, you can still use other positions not so much. So I always believe that when you want to do no money spend, you always go depth positions first because at least if you get another guy there, you can use him. You're not you're not stuck with that guy. You don't have to feel trapped. So Darius Slay is obviously up there as a top choice. Next one. I believe George Kittle's up there. He's the, he's the only tight end in this game that's really fast right now. And it's also another depth position. You can use two tight ends. So I believe George Kittle's one of the top guys that you can get out of that. So remember that tight end cornerback are two really important ones. Amari Cooper, wide receiver. He has, I mean, this year is a kind of a tough year for wide receiver because you get Torrey Holt for free. And then there's plenty of wide receivers in this game that really they're going to pull. And there's, there's a bunch of theme builder wide receivers. But if you had to pick one from here, it'd be Amari Cooper. He has, I believe, an 85 speed. And he's, he's like one of the fast wide receivers in the game right now. And he has really good catching stats. T.Y. Hilton's up there too. Now, next on this list would be Miles Garrett. But the only issue with Miles Garrett is that he's a right end. And you do get DK Jones, which I will get to. So for that reason, I won't take Miles Garrett. But if you're a Browns fan, you feel like you need him, go for it. Now, the linemen intrigued me, right? So if you guys aren't ones that like to pick linemen or, you know, buy linemen, I would go with Ke Andrew Norwell, Kevin Zyler. They're going to be smooth. Or Alex Mack. Remy Tunzel, any of those guys, they're going to be top linemen in the game. But if you guys don't like to pick linemen out of that stuff, I understand. But I'll probably take it. If I do end up doing these, they're very long. Let me explain to you. By the way, these solos, they're 16. It's a 16-game season, and you have to play full games. So it's only three minutes. It'll probably take you three to four hours, but it is a free 86. So if you're no money spent, this is all for your ops. People who buy packs don't want to really go down that route. But if you're going no money spent, you know, you can spend a whole day or two doing these solos. You can end up with a whole 86 overall team. It's really not that bad of a deal there. Now... Just to give you, um, I just, you know, I named them, I'll give you a few of the ones I like the most. Obviously, Slay, Amos, Zeitler, Norwell, Mack, Amari Cooper, mm, uh, Miles Garrett, Micah Hyde. So, obviously, I'm not going to go through every single one rating. But the point is that you got the idea of the positions, you hear them in your head. So, you can get start, start getting the ball rolling on those. Now, next on the list is the NFL Epics. If you guys haven't seen that video already, I already posted it. You can see how to do them. It's um, probably like three days ago, right? I posted like day one. Now... There's a Baker Mayfield and a Deacon Jones. This is important, right? Because quarterback is a huge position. I usually hate locking up my quarterback position. I do, unless it's like a Vic or someone on the team long term. But Baker Mayfield is probably he's Mahomes like. So I had I had I had Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady. I ended up selling Mahomes because I realized it's kind of dumb to have the, both of them. So I'm gonna get a free I'm getting a free uh, Baker Mayfield soon. He has the same stats. Like realistically, it's the same the same stats as Patrick Mahomes. They're both not that mobile. They're both decently mobile, so it's between him and Brady. But again, if you're no money spent, just wait for the Baker Mayfield. He's going to be a top like four or five quarterback in the game right now, maybe top three because he has an 86. Only there's only like two 87s and 188. He's top five easily. Now then there's Deacon Jones. He's probably one of the top edge rushers in the game. So like Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack, Glaze Campbell, those kind of guys. So you have your right end locked up and your quarterback locked up. You have those team builders which can easily be 10 positions locked up. Then you got the uh, the pre-order bonus. And then if you also get the pre-order bonus with the um, the boys, which is the Cowboys, you know, Emmett Emm Smith, Troy Aikman, and uh, crap, I'm going to forget right now. And then I think Terrell Owens, whatever it is, you have a wide receiver there. You have Torrey Holt. Then you have Troy Aikman at quarterback as a backup. Then you got um, Emmett Smith at running back. And then if you get any, and you get the gold fantasy pack. And then you get um, Pat Tillman at safety. And then you get the team captain, which could be Ryan Shazier, Dallas Clark, I'm blank, Ty Law, and I'm blanking the last one. But you, get, you get the point. You could literally, this year, this year especially, more so than other years, stack your team out. Don't forget, there's also the level up packs. On top of all this, there's the level up packs. Let's see where that is right now. Where is it? Where is it? No, I forget what this is sometimes. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where the level of the stuff is, but the point is, I'll tell you real quick, the level packs. I know I, I know I level 20, I'm about to get a Saquon Barkley pack, or Aaron, there's an Aaron Rodgers pack, there's George Kittle, there is uh, the Marcus Lawrence, uh, Adam Thielen, 
And the best part about those packs, if you don't want to take the players, if you already have players there, at the end of every pack, there's a coin quick sell player. So literally in coin quick sells, you usually get about 300k from all of them. So by level 50, you get a free 300k if you think about it. Because the 85 pack comes with an 85 coin quick sell. So like 10 cards, the 11th card, let's say, is in coin quick sell. So that is 55k, 70k, like... It is unreal you either get coin like they made it so easy this year because only years past on a no money spend kind of sucked right so let's say you got a you got a wide receiver and then you got a wide receiver pack you're stuck with another wide receiver but this year they give you a coin quick sell so if you have one already just cash out take the coin quick sell sell it real fast make some coin go by the position you need so this year is the best year for no money spent up to date of madden 20. i hope this helps anyone not just want no money spent guys obviously because obviously this helps everyone even me i, I want to be able to take advantage of this too i'm obviously buying positions but i'm obviously also saving saving some coins for positions I don't need to buy like end and stuff so this helps anyone just be efficient with their coins and maximize like instead of having like an 83 overall team with some backups you probably have an 85 overall team with a stacked out team across the board but that's it guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys are enjoying if you're new to the channel make sure to drop a like let's get this video to 50 likes please it means a lot if you could it really helps out the channel comment down below if there's anything I missed or any of those players you like the most and make sure to subscribe to the channel let's try to get to 3,000 subs by the end of August that's the goal guys thank you so much for watching I'm out